Okay. Now, look at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline your ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Now, we already know from Joshua we're not supposed to let them depart out of our mouth. Now, we don't let them depart from our eyes. So, we're supposed to be looking at this, looking at the Word, thinking on the Word all the time. Now, you think in pictures. You, you may read the words, but you think in pictures. So, if you, right here, when it says, uh, well, let's read the next one. For they are life. Well, let me go to verse 21. Uh, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Now, when you read that word that says health to all your flesh, immediately what you see is yourself healthy because you think in pictures. And when you think, when it says your flesh, you automatically picture you. So if you read this verse and you meditate upon it, mutter it to yourself and say it over and over. And why? Because you're doing what? consistency, frequency, and repetition. Now that starts to go in you and you start seeing this and he says they are health and it says health and uh, what is it? Where are we at? I want to get them in the right order. Life to those who find them, health to all their flesh. So what you're seeing, you are starting to picture regularly your life, your flesh in health. You got that? And as, now as you pick, see you say this, you start speaking it, you actually developed a discipline to speak this, and then you start seeing this in, in your mind's eye, so to speak. Now, <clears throat> it starts to work in you, and, and you can't see yourself sick. Right? Even if you got stuff going on in your body. Now, that's whenever you move into faith. Because faith looks at the unseen and not the seen. You got that? And so now you, you've stepped into faith on your own, not getting somebody else to get it for you. Somebody else can get you healed, but if you don't change this in you, you'll quickly be right back in the same situation. Because the enemy, half the, you know, many people, I can't say half, but many of the people, many times they'll get prayed for, get healed, rejoice, and before they get out of the parking lot, the devil comes back and hits them with a the pain and goes, oh, see, I knew it wouldn't last. And that thing just moves right back in and says, thank you for an open the door and invite me. Right? And so you have to really, you have to discipline yourself that whenever that happens automatically, yet well, you need to have already switched your tongue before then, right? Uh, I mean, after that, because then you're fighting an uphill battle if you hadn't already switched your tongue, because now you're working against the enemy and working against yourself of trying to fix your tongue. 